Okay, so what I've done for this question is just started to draw a sketch of what we're given. And we're given then that we have a particle P of mass 0.6 kilograms and it's released from rest and slides down a line of greatest slope on a rough plane. And the plane is inclined at 30 degrees then to the horizontal. And we're told that when P has moved a distance of 12 meters, its speed has reached 4 meters per second. And given that the friction is the only non-gravitational resistive force acting on P, we've got to find the work done against friction as P increases its speed from 0 meters per second to 4 meters per second. Now, how am I going to go about doing a problem like this? Well, we're going to look at the change in energy that has occurred. P has lost gravitational potential energy as it moves down the slope. And as it moves down the slope, it's gained kinetic energy. Now, as it's done that, because there's work done against friction, that work done against friction is going to be equal to the loss of energy. So we're going to create an equation based on that, that the work done against friction is equal to the loss of energy. Now you might like to pause the video now that I've given you an overview of what I'm going to do. You might like to pause the video then, come back when ready and check your solution with mine. Okay, so I'll just give you a moment just to uh, pause the video. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, first of all then, let's have a look at the loss in gravitational potential energy. So we'll just put that up as a heading. The loss in gravitational potential energy. Now that's going to be equal to mgh, where h is this distance from the top here to the bottom here when the particle reaches a speed of 4 meters per second. So we're going to work out then mgh. To get h we need to do basic trigonometry from this right angle triangle. We should know that the sine of 30 degrees equals the opposite side, which is h, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. So that's going to be h over 12. And if we multiply both sides by 12, we end up with h equaling 12 times the sine of 30 degrees. And the sine of 30 degrees is a half, so 12 times a half is going to give us 6. 6 meters then for the height h. So it's going to be equal to 0.6 for the mass, multiplied by 9.8 for g, and h we've just seen is 6. And if you work this out, it comes to 35.28. So that's measured in joules. Now the next energy change is going to be that of kinetic energy. What we've got here is no kinetic energy at the top because it's at rest but it gains kinetic energy as it slides down the plane. And kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. So we can talk about the gain in kinetic energy, gain in Ke there. And we know that it's a half mv squared. So we can put our values in as a half times the mass of 0 0.6 times v, which is for and that's squared. And if you work this out, you get 4.8, and that will again be measured in joules. So the work done against friction, because it's a rough surface here, the work done against friction is going to be equal to the loss of energy. So work done against friction, just put that as an intro, okay, is equal to the loss of energy. Let's just put that down as well. L loss, can't spell loss, okay, let's just rub that out. Loss of energy. And what is that loss of energy? Well, it's going to be 
the gravitational potential energy, which was 35.28 joules, minus the gain in kinetic energy, which was the 4.8 joules. And that comes to exactly 30.48. And that will be measured in joules. OK, so I hope it's given you some idea and uh, that if you had a go at that, you got it right. OK, so uh, that brings us to the end now of this part of the question.